Dang, you're like a real Indian running bareback. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he is. Is he is he nice or what? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Tell us about this guy, Jerry. Well, this is uh, a colt by True Blue Valentine. And um, out of a mare we ca call uh, Wyo Jet. Red Wyoming Jet is her registered name. His mother is out of, um, or by the sire of a uh, monster, Poco Drifting Wind, that's a brother to that mare. And those are always just really, really good. And then the bottom side is Lucky Blanton. Uh, the Lucky Blantons, we have three of those mares and they're just all really good producers. They always have really nice, sizey, sizey colts that are smart. Um, like, you know, he had, he's never been for a ride He's only been caught, this is uh, gonna be his third time. And he hasn't been led except for today to get in the trailer and get out of the trailer. And he's never been here. So all of this is brand new to him. So you're, you're seeing, he's gonna be pretty nice. He's got a lot of bone to him. And this is Josh. You're taking him to New Mexico, right? Yep, Hatch, New Mexico. All right, let's go load him up. Gosh, dang, he's nice. You picked a nice one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I like it. We had no idea, being that was the the sire's first foals that we had had since we owned him. You know, he's older. We actually lost him this year. So, so we do know more. Well, I, we hope he bred probably six or seven mares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're hoping to hear bread. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's never been around any of this stuff. I mean, this is all brand new. He's never been on pavement. He's never been in an aluminum trailer. Well, what color is he supposed to be? He's registered as bay. Now, he may be brown or bay. It's, uh... bond for life that's for sure it can be another foal or it can be a person i mean you make that choice when you when you have a weanling i don't like to just throw all the weanlings together um, unless they've been messed with prior because it doesn't in my personal opinion this is just my my crap talking is i just think they bond better with people when they first come off of the mare they come to people if they go to other horses then that's who they're looking for and that's just our experience I'm really happy with him. I, at one point, I thought maybe I shouldn't have sold him. <laughs> but, but that's what got me into this horse business. Is I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't sell that one. Maybe I shouldn't sell that one. And pretty soon, I just had so many horses. Yeah. That I didn't sell them. Yeah, that's my problem. Too. I have a hard time letting go of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have that baby loaded in that trailer. And something probably a lot of viewers don't know is that every baby comes with the halter that's on them. So the new owner gets a halter and they get a cap. So Josh is over here picking out his cap. Let's go see what he's picked. Which one'd you get? Black one. Black and cream, huh? Mm-hmm.
Well, Josh told us that his dad might be in the market for a riding horse, so we took him to the round pin and let him see fancy pants. I didn't get any video of that and brought him out here to Beacon Light to see Bo. He had been turned out for a little bit. He's always... Yeah, he's probably been like three times last week. Cows on Monday we can. Oh, is that a little different? Never had a bareback before. Yeah, he's been getting used more than the other guys. Mm -hmm. Got a little. Dang, you're like a real Indian running bareback. <laughs> Josh also got to see his foal's mama. That's her right there. She was raised here on the ranch and was used a lot when she was younger. That's what the guys are talking about. That uh, She used to chase some wild cattle with Brad and just be a really nice ranch horse back in the day. They, they, and there's like five or six across, and then there's, you know, 15 or 20 long. And the, and the, whoever's flying with them has to be with them to, to maintain, take care of. Of course they do have the crew members, but mm -hmm. I guess they have to have them with them. Well, they do that with those uh, race horses. Yeah. That. So I don't know much about it, but I just kind of looked into it in a little bit, and it was pretty crazy to put one on the, on Jerry, the plane. Jerry's talking about this foal right here, because he or she? She. She is going to Australia. She'll be flying with her owner as a yearling. And that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Big deal. Yeah. yeah. But I have sent them to Hawaii too, but they were all on boat to Hawaii. They left from uh, San, San Diego, I guess. Mm -hmm. So transport went from here to San Diego, and then they uh, got on a ship and went to Hawaii from there. I think it was a two week process. This one, I don't know how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so Josh is on his way home with his little uh, colt, and I got my dishes done, and it's time to go ride colts now. And I have Loki in the back seat. Say yat a. Loki, say yat a. <laughs> sit, sit. Shake, 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 shake. Shake. <laughs> he doesn't really get it right now. He's like, we're in the car. What the heck am I supposed to do? Maybe I'll show you that he shakes a little bit later. Um, but I got to go down and ride uh, Dibs and Millie. So let's go do that while the guys are getting some more colts to work in the round pin. And uh, we'll see you down there. Okay, we're at the arena now. Let's see if Loki will do his trick his other new trick for us. Okay, Loki, sit. 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 Good boy. Shake. Shake. Sit. 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 Loki, sit. Shake. Shake. <laughs> Loki, he's... <laughs> He's a little excited. When he comes to the arena, he likes, he loves it when I ride. 
he follows us and whatever else so he's a little excited right now I'll ask him in a minute again wait let's try right now Loki sit sit look at his big old paws good boy shake oh good boy good boy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dog trainer, so that's as good as it's going to get. Let's go get these girls. Uh, a little windy, a little chilly. I think the high right now, or the temperature right now, is 60, 64 degrees. So Henson started this little trench right here in one of the pens. We did have these panels up, but I think Henson wants to start putting in some railroad ties, maybe, in there. So, work in progress. I think every ranch is that way, right? Everything's a work in progress. I only have an hour before I have to get the kids from school. So, oh, I gotta get busy. Okay, I got Dibs saddled up and it looks like the guys are here. They're gonna work a few folds and I probably won't video much of that because I will be riding. All right, I'm all done with dibs. She's got a pretty good workout. She's not really in shape anymore. I haven't really ridden her since before Hawaii. And that was in the beginning of August. I'm gonna talk to these guys in just a second before I ride Millie. Doing a little trimming? So we have Henson working this full. Um, I'm thinking to work on his feet, get his feet trimmed a little bit. Is that right, Jerry? Yep. Yeah, we're doing a little trimming. They, uh, it's a little sandy where they've been, so they don't really break them off. So we've got to trim them a little bit. So this is the first time this filly's really been a handle as far as her feet. We worked in the round pin earlier. That was probably the third time she'd been caught but she really didn't know much about leading or pressure and, and release but she's really good you know she's really smart her sire is uh, salty roan wood and her dam is voodoo and voodoo's an older mare she's produced quite a few mares or I guess we have a few that uh, are mares now that are out of voodoo and we really like them they're they're smart they're quick pretty catty uh, they'll really get after a cow so she'll be going to the valley soon okay um something i wanted to ask on behalf of the viewers is why do you guys work these foals like this at this age well, I guess if if we were owning them for the long term, say yearlings or two-year-olds, we probably wouldn't. This is just beneficial for the new owner, so the, the new owner can handle them a little bit. We don't like to overhandle um, these colts and fillies, but we don't want them to go to the new owner and you know be a complete wreck. They're, they don't, 
have a mu much of a handling anyway. And so when they go there, the new owner has to do quite a bit to get them to trust them and uh, get to know them. So we do a lot of that just for the benefit of the owner, not, not necessarily ourselves. We'd just wait till they were probably two. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> He's working. <laughs> How about this little one over here? Well, that is the last filly that was born this year. So she was born, I believe, July 1st or 2nd. And that's uh, filly by Trigger. And out of a mare we call Plum who is a, a driftwood bred uh, filly. She does have a little special effort on the bottom side. And white lightning Ike, or yeah, white lightning Ike on her. Just a little ball of muscle. And this is the, well, I guess we caught her the other day. So this is probably the third time. Uh, she doesn't know anything about leading or any of that, so we brought her out just so she can get a little bit of experience. So pretty much everything that we're messing with today is sold. Uh, the black colt over there will be going to Louisiana here soon. Uh, we have a, a sorrel colt in there that will be going to Kienta. And I can't remember what else we have. Oh, we have a blue filly. She's not actually leaving. The blue filly will stay here. She, she's a keeper. She's out of uh, Dusty Sage Hen and sired by Salty Roanwood. Salty's getting older, so we're just trying to keep a few of Salty's fillies around. We don't know how much longer he'll be with us. He's got some age. So far, so good, but it doesn't take very long for him to maybe not even settle a mare. <laughs> so we just want to be, be on top of it. He's been handled a couple of times in the round pen. Or well, once in the round pen, I guess, and then we've caught him a couple of times out there in the pen and just tied him up. So he has a little more handling than some of them do. Just because we thought he was leaving, and so we were getting him ready, but then the transport kind of fell through on that. So we're just waiting for the transport to come in the next week or two, I believe. But he's never had his feet messed with. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what do you think you're doing, huh? You're helping? I don't know. Doing something. He kicks at it, but he wasn't too serious. <laughs> this is just an extension of your hand grabbing, I'm not trying to hold it, I'm not trying to contain it, just let him get used to the fact that someone's or something's down there. and. He doesn't have to be worried about it. He can kick at it. It's not going to go away. It's not going anywhere. Pretty soon he'll just get tired of kicking at it and be okay with it. So you do all this just to set him up for success with just, the new owner? I, I, yeah. Um, because if it was ours, unless they needed to be trimmed, we probably wouldn't do a lot of this stuff with these younger foals. This is just for the new owner. So that they have somewhere to start. You know, we don't know how much um, training ability most of the owners have. We, we assume they have quite a bit just because they're buying a young horse. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that that's true. But they at least have a desire. Desire is a big part of it. There's nothing easy about a weanling.
This is where everything starts. See, he's getting more comfortable with it. He knows it's not gonna hurt him. Somebody had commented at some point about, you know, horse kicking and somebody getting really um, hurt by a horse kicking one of their friends. And no doubt, it's dangerous. And so, if you look it up, ranching and farming is one, I think it's the eighth dangerous occupation. So. We obviously try to keep ourselves safe, but we've all been hurt. We try to do things that don't hurt us. <laughs> that's not, but I don't, I don't think that's always possible. <laughs> I've had plenty of horse wrecks that I probably still feel the effects of now. Sometimes you never see them coming. No, it, it happens so fast. But I think it gives you uh, quick reflexes. You're usually pretty quick to jump. <laughs> There's probably a lot of different ways people do this same thing to get them prepared to pick up a foot or whatever. Doesn't mean it's right or wrong, just means it's different. Everybody has a different way to get an end result. So we're not pro proclaiming to be the uh, the expert. This is, this is just what we do. <laughs> okay, there's my girls. I'm gonna unsettle Dibs, saddle up Millie, go get my kids from the bus, and then finish up my ride. And by then, it should be dark. All right, guys, so I just jumped on Millie and we had to work a little bit on getting her to stand still while I mounted. She is coming up on her 90 days and will be going home in the middle of November. So that's about 15 days away. And we are still working on basics like that. So it's just kind of an ongoing thing when you ride these colts is to make sure they stand when they're mounted, to have them put the bit in correctly without trying to pull away from you. Um, making sure they're standing still while saddled. Gosh, so many basic things that even at 90 rides, they still need to be refreshed on. See her ear? And I can feel her in her body that she wants to lean toward that open gate. Um, it's just a lot of things you have to deal with when riding with these, riding these young colts. Um, but she's really progressed a long ways. She's a fun ride, especially in the arena. Actually, let me turn around a little bit. It's getting windy, going into the wind. But, uh... 
she's really fun in the arena. I haven't actually ridden her out to gather cows or anything. Henson does, does that. He's done that a whole bunch, but I just ride her in the arena and she's so much fun in the arena. She'll just pick up the correct leads and pretty much do what you ask in the arena. So I like her in here. Anyway, we're gonna get busy doing our ride and I'll uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, so everything is fed and Millie is put away. She kind of uh, gave me a hard time tonight and that's okay because two-year-olds can kind of be like this. They can be a roller coaster ride. They can be really good and then they kind of regress and start all over. But they're young horses and that's kind of expected. But she'll be going home soon and um, it's always fun to see the horses go home we have a few videos of horses going home and if you guys would like to see one of those here is um brie here or here i don't know i can never get it right but here is brie going home in the dead of winter after her 90 day start so check that video out if you haven't seen it and we'll see you next time bye